Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Inspirations, the weekly Nepal TV show that brings you inspiring people working in Nepal. I'm Mike Rosencrantz, a VSO volunteer. And tonight, we have another inspiring person, Radha Padal, who is the executive director and founder of ActionWorks Nepal. Welcome, Radha. Thank you. So nice to nice see you. Nice to see you, too. Let's start off by you telling us a little bit about your background. Simply today, I'm an activist. I'm an activist for the rural development. Uh, but uh, I born as a fourth girl child uh, in poor and rural uh, family. Uh, I started my career as a nurse. Uh, I also joined government permanent job uh, as a nurse in 1994. At that time, I was anesthetic nurse. And later, when I gained the um, learning, yes. I, I in, encountered with the several incidences while OP is an aesthetic nurse. I changed my education gradually. Later, I did uh, bachelor in nursing in community health nursing, master in health education, master in sociology, and later uh, master in development management from Philippines. And now um, I worked as a uh, founder president in Exanox Nepal, and I'm serving as a volunteer. And uh, uh, while back to my family background, yes. my both uh, dad and mom were illiterate. They never ever uh, saw the school. My dad was orphan, and he ran away from the home. And unfortunately, unfortunately, he stopped in the eastern part of Nepal and he recruited as a cook man in the government employ and later he earned something and he got married and, and uh, he started the family. But uh, both dad and mom have a strong passion for education. They send us to school. Uh, in our community, uh, our family is the first family who send the girls uh, or all kids to the uh, school. Uh, in my family, we have uh, five sisters and one uh, brother, he is the youngest one. My um, parents were waiting for the son. Right. <laughs> Though my um, both uh, mom and dad were sending to us to school at any cost. We are poor. We don't have uh, uh, much land. There was no any income source. My dad uh, worked as a laborer. Though, he sent us to school and we are here. And today, my all sisters are independently working. Oh. Um, my, uh, they, they got married in when they were 11, 12, but they are uh, teaching in university, in schools. And uh, one my sister is a journalist and my uh, brother doing business. Hmm. What exactly? is Action Works Nepal doing now? Wh which districts are you working in and what are your focus areas? Actually, Exxon Hopes Nepal is the symbol of uh, peace and justice. It is a synonym of peace and justice through series of actions, consistent actions, not uh, uh, one actions, consistent actions over the lip service. I fed up from my childhood to date, until date, okay. I fed up with the lies I encountered with many, many good lead service providers and um, I, I feel alone, I marginalize, I ignored by my colleagues and now the Exxon Ox Nepal, it is, it is, I already said to you, it is a symbol of the peace and justice right. to uh, those people who were, uh, whom I represented, I mean the poor people, rural people who don't have access, who don't have a politi political connection, who don't have a very rich uh, family background. Right. And what I faced when I was child, I don't have a church when I went to the school. Right. I slept in, with in the stomach. And even today, the girls and women are discriminated in terms of the class, caste and gender. Yes. And many girls in Barnali and Far West, they are, they are sleeping with in the stomach. They are in farm and forest, rather a school. If they are in school, they, they will be a foot. So, oh, no. 40 years back, I faced that kind of problem. I right. felt so embarrassed. I feel so regret. Why I born? Right. But even today, the girls, my sisters, my daughters are facing the same problem. Mm. And being educated women, being uh, educated from my parents that time, mm. what is my role? 
Sunnat I think, Sunnat I do differently. In that way, it's an Oaks Nepal found it. And you're, you work in which district is it? Uh, actually, um, in the local level, we are working uh, uh, Joomla and Kalikot in a structured manner, but in, we are also piloting in Acham, uh, Umla and Chitawan. It is, uh, even in the Chitawan, it is all uh, conflict affected rural areas. Um, and in national level, we are working for the policy advocacy, networking, and um, the ministering the issues which are re which are uh, observed in rural areas. Mm -hmm. And we are also working in the international levels to, to raise the voice, to, to, to advocate the issues, and to uh, uh, invite the peoples to live together. Because the philosophy of the Exxon Ox Nepal is the birthplace of an individual is not choice at all. Do you? Right. So, any, no one has a right to discriminate right. in terms of the class, caste, gender, and region. Right. Everyone is, is a human being. Everyone has obligates to continue to live together. If, if, there is a, if a person has a passion, have a mindset, have a commitment, they can contribute no matter where they are, where they are doing, what they are they were from. So, any, anyone can join this campaign. We said, Mithari uh, Gaon. In Nepali, let us live together uh, campaign. It means we all are human being. We can we can live together, and uh, um, there is no any restriction or boundary uh, to contribute. This is the, how we are working, and we also inviting all like-minded people, positive people, passionate people to live together in this campaign. Kupan, the Sari Scratch Garepani, Nagarika Harik Basi Crack Light, Hajaru Kunagat Press Carpani, Paka Pakicha. अनि पुरस्कार नबरेमा 10 वर्ष सम्म निशुल्क नागरिक रहने थप जानकारीका लागि फोन नम्बर 4268656you must encounter a number of hurdles or issues. I mean, what are some of those issues and how do you overcome them? Actually, most of the people keep on saying that geographical difficulties is the, is the challenges or hurdles, the poverty, the ignorance, they said, but we don't, even team or myself, do not believe that these are not challenges. The challenges is major challenges mindset of the people. In, in uh, development, many people, many project documents are saying to eliminate the poverty, to reach out the poorest, excluded and marginalized community, but in reality it is not. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, we, are, uh, we are trying to reach out these people through the um, Women Empowerment Program, where we educate the people in terms of the civil and political rights, economic empowerment, we are trying to link with the social business scheme, and we also uh, supported for the education support program where we provided teachers, scholarships, capacity building to the school management committees, teachers, and we also uh, providing the mental assistance while there is a disaster or any gender-based violence or any, or any kind of disasters we will be providing the support and from Kathmandu and across the world we are collecting the materials no matter what the people have maybe clothes, books, pens, or gas. Uh, we collecting and we distributing in that areas. Mm -hmm. tell, tell our viewers about some of the moments in life that have met, meant a really a lot to you. Yeah, there are many moments, but uh, while talking about Exxon of Nepal, I remember um, one thing, when I worked as an anesthetic nurse in Bharatpur hospital, I encountered with seven year girls who uh, was in coma because of the rape um, by her uh, cousin brother. And that day I realized, oh rather you should go out beyond the four walls of the hospital because that rape case was preventable. Uh, and uh, uh, what would be happen in the remote areas? That was the first very striking case. And second case, when I stepped in Jumla in 2001, I encountered with the children in, in the airport. And they were um, 
water i used them uh, there was a different story but i used them and i realized that that day uh, the birth place of an individual is not choice at all i uh, would be a person in jungla i can uh, um, i um, i would uh, born in dalit or a poor family or jungla or and anything else so why um, are the people are discriminating uh, in terms of that all attributes so that day i really inspired myself realized myself and i determined to work for the children and i also remember to my father's uh, story when i was 5 and 1/2 years old and it is a connection between the story and the uh, uh, real uh, children and the third one is um, when i work in uh, in uh, jungla that time uh, one woman dying because of the written plan reading due to the written placenta but i was invited as a uh, invited to serve for the diarrhea case but in the local language they said diarrhea for the bleeding and um, i was primarily i was not responsible for service provider but i tried to manage it because i know uh, the things very well since i'm nursing background and i worked many cases while i worked in uh, or a hospital but there was no medicine there was no uh, operation theater for surgery there was no fund to, to refer to the nearby hospital like surkhet and nepal was that in, in front of me she was died that case was a big uh, inspiration for me she taught me you should uh, start the blood bank you should start the surgery for the emergency you should start the emergency fund to refer the people in uh, in case of uh, unable to manage in jungla So that day, I determined. I started to work, and finally, I make it. Who are some of the people that have inspired you in your life? Actually, the first uh, inspired people in my parents, my dad and mom. My mom always said, "Crying is not solution. Don't cry." She never cried in front of me. Sure, never, never cry because you know, crying is not a solution. She keep on saying, and my dad, if you. Don't worry. If you are alone, if, if there is a reality, you win the race one day. You keep on going. You have to patient. So uh, my dad and mom are the first inspirators, and obviously there are many friends and incidences um, are the inspirators. And I go through the song autobiographies of the um, social leaders like Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi, Mother Teresa, and others, obviously. And finally, what message would you like to leave our audience with? Yes, I already shared the birthplace of an individual is not choice. All of us, I request, humbly request to all of them to think and to ask yourselves: Is their birthplace or family is the choice of them or not? If not, can't they live together? Can't they uh, contribute to the Exxon Mobil Nepal? There is option of online or bank details. or they can find the you know, contact uh, email address about me or my team members and uh, we are working across the con- uh, globe we have a support group in australia support group in us and germany they can connect uh, with these groups or they can create the groups and they can come and contribute anyone any organization corporate sector donor agencies or individuals no matter where they are where they are working what they have whatever they have they can Contribute and they can live together. Thank you, Rana. Very. Thank you, Dumas. Very much. nice interview. Thank you. You can find Action Works Nepal on the internet and also on Facebook. I'm Mike Rosenkrantz. Hope to see you again next week. Peri Patona.